for breakfast, I got this barbecue chicken that I saw on TikTok. It was okay. I'm just not a fan of chicken that's not crispy. Protein drinks are available at 7-Eleven here. I don't know what I was expecting, but it tastes like your average protein shake. That's a protein shake. Na. This is the cheese toasty that you've probably seen in the previous videos, but I swear if there's one thing in 7-Eleven in Thailand that I think is worth trying, kahit once long, is this one. Like, Desserts on 7-Eleven here are on a different level. I got a blueberry cheesecake and it was so good. For me, Jod's Fair has the best food to offer in Thailand. Well, for tourists. A bit on the pricey side, but overall worth it. This giant squid was for less than 200 baht and it's already good for two people. It tastes so good as well, so super worth it. I highly recommend this one. This was really eye-catching, so I decided to order one. I thought it was gonna be on the sweet side, but the one I ordered was on the savory side, so I wish I ordered something a bit more sweet instead of the savory one. I think pork fuss yung nandito. They had raw seafood for only 90 baht. I really wanted to try one, but I couldn't afford getting an allergy while I was here in Thailand. But my sister said it tastes good raw. Trigger warning insects. I have so much respect for people who can do this. Ako hindi ako, but but. My sister is gonna try them out for us. You can get a whole bag, a whole bag of insects for only 100 baht. Scorpios, I don't know how much they I think they're around 300. I'm not really sure. So, yung ato ko ita turn yung insects. Hindi ako ganyan ka brave, pero I salute. Hindi to nang ako for moral support. I was considering trying it for the vlog and for the cloud, pero pero we need to have certain limitations as to what I can do for it. Go. Baka naman crunchy lang. Sa'yo yung mga tuhugin mo. Hello. So today is our fifth day in Thailand. Yesterday we went to Jod's Fair. Super nice food. Yung ate ko kumain ng insect na lasang langaw raw yung una. But anyway, today is our temple day and we plan on going to the Grand Palace today. Here at this coffee place near our hotel na hindi ko na vinlog kasi hindi siya maganda. But I'm having my macchiato ngayon. I'm just waiting for my food. And si ate umorder ng fish steak. Ako umorder ako ng American breakfast. Thank you. I'm wearing this polo that I got from... Terminal 21 for 300 baht and nice lang quality niya. It's a bit better compared than sa nakita ko na tigo 160. And this is the one that I'll be using for my photos later ng OOTD. But for now, let's have breakfast. <laughs> It's quite hard to book grab and bought in Thailand. I don't know why. So sometimes we go for the premium one and this one is the luxury car that we ended up riding to the Grand Palace. We're now here at the Grand Palace and 
Siguro one of the things I would suggest is bring an umbrella and also syempre bring a cap. I wish I brought a cap. Shades of Nino kasi it's a lot more humid here compared sa atin. Like I feel it's the same level of heat but it's more humid. That's why it feels more hot. The Grand Palace was so beautiful in real life, like straight out of fairy tale. And as someone who's interested with architecture, this was one of my favorite places we went to. But as expected, there were so many tourists here. I got sunburned pretty bad here, so make sure to wear your SPF. We just finished touring the Grand Palace and ang inet. Pero that's expected naman as tourist shepherd responsibility mo magtingin ng weather. It was it was fun. I think it's such a some must try. A tourist destination Cito, of course, since you're already in Bangkok, might as well go there. I got this coffee na nakikita ko lagi sa ads dito on social media, so I got it. I think for our bulk, because we're gonna go to Icon Siam. I'm gonna try this while waiting for our bulk. After eating lunch at Icon C, we went to Don Quixote, or also known as Don Quixote. It's a Japan-based store that's also available in Thailand. Since items from Don Quixote are imported from Japan, they're on the pricey side, but if you're looking for authentic Japanese goods, this is the best place to go. Flavors of Kit Kat here, pero since Japan imports are there more expensive, pag kinonvert mo parang same lang sa Philippines. Kasi when it's hot outside, you can use this. Para siyang facial wipes na cool pero wala siyang alcohol food trip we went to Chinatown in Bangkok. I've never been to Binondo but my sister said it's quite similar to it. For my Hong Kong style waffles of course I had to get my ice cream in matcha. I feel people who say na lasang damo yung matcha hasn't had proper matcha kaya nila nasabing lasang damo. Oh, okay. 
Looking back at this trip, this wasn't really the best idea that we went from the Grand Palace to Icon Seum to Chinatown because this was the most tired we've been through the whole trip. This was our first time riding a tuk-tuk in Thailand because we were avoiding it because they have a tendency to overprice foreigners but honestly this was really worth it. Saya, kita kalau tayang